Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Kevin Plays the Captain. Today we are orbiting outside of Fenton Perth. This plan is one of my favorite storylines in uh, in the Captain series, so I'm looking real forward to playing this. Uh, last time we got here just after we visited Zerum, and my ship is in a bad way. I'm surprised the ship isn't angry at me, but anyway, yeah, poor ship. She only has, let me see here, she only has 31 out of 200 hull damage, hull survival, or whatever you want to call it. But man, yeah, poor little ship. So, poor little ship. Anyway, we'll go ahead and continue on. This is one, so last episode we came here and we found out one that will contact the satellite. So this is a space fleet sat satellite saying that uh, this planet uh, is inhabited by a pre-space civilization and is thereby protected under the United Galaxy Act of the Universal Non-Interference Act of 2234. All breaches of this act are punishable by the law of the Universal Paragraphs of Conduct. For more information, please contact the Limian Service Authority of Trade and Catastral Survey. So this is basically like uh, the Prime Directive, I believe, in, uh, in, in the Star Trek shows. Don't interfere in pre-civilized um, uh, pre uh, planets and whatnot. You know, don't interfere and don't give them any technology or something like that. So... We have to be careful. So let's go down there. But there's some uh, dromium down there, which we found in the last bit, which we, uh, which the sh ship says is there. Okay, ship, I say we are past the step of not interfering with this planet's natural evolution. Okay. With the crash module, it would seem so, Captain. Yeah, so uh, the space, a space fleet uh, module crashed onto this planet uh, which was part of that uh, uh, accident that caused the captain to come back over to uh, the outer regions. So, so we have to go pick it up. And there's some dromium there. I will go down there and salvage the dromium from the crash shadow satellite before I dismantle it. Right. That would be beneficial for the natural development of the inhabitants of this planet. So, yep. However, the regulations force shuttle to perform a deploy and leave maneuver on this mission. Right, we need to minimize the risk of detection by the inhabitants of this planet. Shuttle will put me down at the location of the booster and leave until the salvage is complete. I will send down the service module next to the crash site. Use it to salvage the dromium. Perfect, notify shuttle we are leaving. Will do. And Captain. Yes, I love you. <laughs> I'm pissed off at you for damaging me. I have updated your info pad with the necessary procedure for mission success. Got it. All right. Here we go. Da da. Get down to this groovy music. Right, let's get that dromium. There we go, yeah, another, la another landing achieved under P for perfection. It was okay. But please, shuttle, really no need to brag about it. I'm not bragging, sir. Just giving you a mission update. Whatever. You should go back to the Copernicus while I take care of this satellite. Oh, is my little baby captain learning to walk on his own? Goo goo ga ga. Are you done? Yes. We are obligated by regulations to avoid any contact or draw any attention to us while down here. Hence the reason I'm leaving you alone here to do the job. I see the service module the ship sent down. Did it survive the deployment? Yep, seems so. I am receiving a green light from it. You are good to go, Cap... Capitano? Capitano? Good. 
I will contact you when I'm done here so you can come down and pick me up. No rush, take your time. The salvage. All right. Let's, oh, that, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't want that yet. Look, looky, looky, looky. Let's see what we can see. That, okay, only these two things. We should read the instructions first. All right, messages. Booster module instructions. Find the booster module crash site. Check. Locate the booster module access panel. Unlock the dromium rod compartment by setting the correct lock knob combination. Red, black, red, red, black, red. Open the dromium rod compartment. Carefully remove the dromium rod. Install the dromium rod into the service table. Extract the self extract the self destruct code. Locate the self destruct panel on the booster module. Enter the self destruct code and step away. Sounds easy enough. All right. Input code panel. Now. Panel 4C. Alrighty. Oops. There we go. Okay, booster module. Okay, we did that. Locate booster module. Unlock the Dromia rod compartment. Yeah. Oh. By setting the correct lock knob com red, black, red, red, black, red, black, red, red, black, red. I mean, red. Oh, okay, red, black. What? I think I wrote it down last time. All right, let's try this again. It was red, black, red, red, black, red. Red, black, red, red, black, red. There it is. Take it. All right. Now, place it on the service table, right? Please insert toxic rod into slot BB3 to proceed. Okay. Please insert. Okay, right here. All right. I guess I got to do. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Okay. Rod identification code. Okay, hold on. All right, open, remove, install. Yes, we did extract the self-destruct code. Okay. And then locate the self-destruct panel, enter, and step away. Okay. Self-destruct code, okay. So, okay, use the rubric to activate the sound. Six four two six two. Okay, easy enough. Six four two six two. Come on. Six four two six two. There. I guess that is mission complete. The only thing left is to get the rod safely back to the ship. Wait a minute. 
Where's the rod? That guy. Damn, I have been compromised. Hey! I think that guy just stole the Dromia rod. I have to get it back. That rod might do some serious damage to the environment if they don't treat it right. Well, let's get him. Gotta get him. There he is. Come on, go. Get him. Hmm, the road seems to end over there by the gates. He has to be hiding somewhere around here. Alright. Let's check the shed. Ugh. That was an owie. I found him unconscious. Outside the city gates. His clothes are very strange. Mother, will he be okay? I think so, dear. He just needs to rest now. I'm naked! Eh? What happened? He's been probed. Something, ouch! Or someone must have hit me in the head. I don't remember. Guess I blacked out a bit. Well, where am I? How did I get here? Shuttle? Damn, all my gear is gone. And my clothes! So much for staying in line with Space Fleet's Non Interference Act. I need to get a hold of my gear and the rod and get out of here as soon as possible. Alright, we're saving. Let's go downstairs. I'm hearing some voices down there. Maybe I should find some clothes before going down. Alright. Can't go down there. There's a painting. Of a flower. What else is there around here? Bed. We're not going to do the bed window. I can see a back garden. It's a small town with stone houses. Okay, what else do we have? Ah, a sacred book. The Celestial Codex. Teach me to do your will, for you are my everything. May faith and your presence keep me on humble ground. Let's see. The Almighty saw that her people were true and had hearts of bliss, and so she turned her guiding eye to them the people of the land and spoke be strong my creation be courageous do not be afraid for my faith in the will keep you on the path of my righteousness and if you would go stray and fall ill it forever if forever darkness awaits your soul do not discourage do not despair for i take no pleasure in the death of anyone the path of life is a circle and he whose heart is true will be born again Blessed is the one who follows the scripture. Blessed is the one who helps the lost neighbors to do the same. Blessed is, blessed, blessed be the one whose intent is to obey and be strict. The idol of Tam. The Almighty had given Tron the blessing of creating an image of herself. Tron did as Tam had wished. He used the clay of Perth and let the spirit of Tam guide his hands as the small statue took shape. He then took a stone of breath and placed it in his chest. This is good and you are good, Tam said to Tron, and Tron felt the love from Tam. This is kind of important here. I'm just going to say that. You, sh you Well, not important, but it's good background. I'll say that. You shall help your people to create statues like yours. 
one shall be created for each family. No more and no less, for no man nor woman nor or child should ever hold more than one. Let the idol remind you of my truth. Keep this close to you wherever you lie to sleep and wake up. That's an important uh, bullet point right there as well. Do not walk too far on the strange road, for the connection will wither and die. And if you would go astray or fall ill, forever darkness awaits your soul. Do not discourage, do not despair, for I take no pleasure in the death of anyone. The path of light is a circle, and he whose heart is true will be born again. Okay. All right, there's a little lab there, and some old school lab equipment. Someone with the scientific interest lives here. And then there's a green board. This is some some uh, interesting stuff on this green board here. So let me see here. I, I spent um, some good time trying to decipher this. So it says, time's trying to wake up. And so he tried to wake up, what, 18 times? I think that says, eat, I think it says, eat something food. Uh, let's see, something before going to bed. And... Not going to bed at all. Let's see. Set one piece to midnight. And something. I don't know. And then this is hours of sleep per night. And then he, he was making a graph. Interesting. So. I don't know what that that says but someone was doing an experiment here I think so yes so here's here's a close right here we'll I'll look at that it is some clothes it's not my uniform but they look comfortable okay these aren't half bad I feel really comfortable and loose quite nice all right, can we do anything with the lab? Nope, I don't know what we'd do with this lab. All right, now we could go downstairs. Um, mom, yes, dear, he is awake. Who is love? Mom, the man. Oh, oh, sorry, sir, you are up. I am up. That's wonderful. How do you feel? Okay, I guess. I got a pounding headache, but other than that, I feel fine. Please, sir, come down and join us. Thank you. Oh. Lasha here found you on conscience outside the city gates this morning. What happened to you? I'm not sure. Okay, let's do where am I? You are in our house. In Fenton, Perth. It was decided that we would take care of you since we found you. Well, thank you for that. Who are you? My name is Samoa, and this young lady over there is my daughter, Lassa. What should we call you, sir? My name is Thomas. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, where are you from, Thomas? I mean, no one in town seems to recognize you. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, but I am prohibited from discussing that matter by several directors concerning first contact. <laughs> Let's try that one. Uh... I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. I just woke up with a throbbing headache. So where do you come from then? I don't remember. You don't remember? I remember my name and age, but nothing else. You really should let Dr. College take a look at you. 
I really need to get a hold of my clothes and gear as soon as possible. I seem to have lost my clothes. I found these up by the bed. Uh, let's be polite and tell her we took these clothes. That was okay. They were placed there for you. I hope they fit. Yes, thank you. They belong to my husband, but you can borrow them for as long as you want. I really need to get... Okay. As possible? Of course. The governor has them at that moment. The governor? Why does the governor have my clothes? Well, we have never seen anything like what you had on you. We are just a small town, and the governor didn't want to start ill-favored rumors. He felt it necessary to store your belongings until he had a chance to speak with you. Oh, I see. I will take you up to him, but first things first. You must be hungry. We just had our morning meal, but there is still food left. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm starving. Great. Please sit down over at the table and I'll get you something. Lasha, don't you have chores to attend? But mom, I want to stay. Lasha, now. Please, Thomas, take a seat at the table. There you go. Thank you. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you so much. That was great. I really needed that. I'm glad you liked it. I guess I should go and see the governor now. I was told to bring you to the governor myself. But I need to finish up here first. Maybe we can meet outside his office in a bit later. You can take a stroll around the town in the meantime. Sure. So where is his office? Just head down the road outside and you'll end up in the town square. From there you'll see the justice house. Okay, thank you for everything, Samoa. I really appreciate your help here. You're so welcome. See you later. Alright. Let's take a look around town. Oh, let's talk to her. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We want to talk to her. Hello there. Oh, hi. I guess that's it. Well, let's look at the swell here. This well is in really poor condition. Yes, okay. Enter the city. Alright, oh, there he is right there. So, here's the Justice House. House. We should probably look there first. Alright. Door seems to be locked. Sign. Guess this is the emblem for the governor. Okay, there's no sign. I don't know, I can't read that sign. So let's see, let's read this sign. The light is the path to the truth. So bathe in the light with all your soul and never let it be taken by the dark. Then and only then justice will thrive. Potent, the prophet of light. Okay. Potent or proton? Potent. Potent. Okay. Hello there, young man. What can I do for you? What are you doing in here? Paperwork. What kind of paperwork? Essential. How much paperwork could there be for a town this size? Are you kidding me? Paperwork is the backbone of any well-functioning enterprise. And Fenton Perth is a well-functioning enterprise indeed. Okay, thank you. I think that's it. Yep. And this isn't anything right. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah. So we'll just exit. Okay. Let's see. So there's a fruit sa salesman. There's a blacksmith. There's a tailor. We can't really do much here. Baker. 
There's a shed right there. There's... Do we want to go there? I actually want to go. Here's where I want to go. I want to go here. I want to the shop area. Okay. Let's talk to the storekeeper. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, sir. I really need to go inside my store again. Okay. Let's talk to the coffee later. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? What do you sell here? We serve the finest coffee in the region. Fancy a cup? Uh, I don't think I can afford it. No worries, this one's on the house. Looks like you could use it. Well spotted, and thank you. There you go, sir. Again, thank you so much. Wow, that was some amazing coffee. Thanks, happy you liked it. You let your friends know. I will, have a nice day. You too. Good day, sir. Hello. Oh, dang it. I missed that. Stupid mouse. Oh, wait a minute. Aren't you that stranger Lasha found outside the gate? Uh. Oh, we could try lying or. Yeah, sure, why not? Sure, I'm Thomas. Hi, Thomas. I am Frank. Don't want to be rude, but I have to ask you. Where do you come from? I mean, you, you are certainly not from town. And it's just that we don't get new people coming here on a regular basis. Uh, I don't really remember to keep the story, story the same much at all. I've been having some memory issues since I got hit in the head. You poor soul. Ingrid thinks you are a southerner. Why does she think I am from the south? I'm not sure. She saw you when they carried you through town, you know. Maybe it's because of the strange clothes you were wearing. Who is Ingrid? Oh, that's the very beautiful lady that owns the coffee shop here next to her. Ah, he likes chatting her up. Oh, I see. Alright. Hello there, little friend. Crack. Hmm, he almost seemed sad. Can I help you, little birdie? Crack. Birdie. Croak. Hmm, maybe he is missing a friend in there. Read the sign. Birdcage has the paper sign attached to it at the bottom. It reads Chico and Feathers. Oh. Nothing there. See you later. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? Just out walking. Alright. Ah. Huh. Can't do anything. Huh. Oh. Who's that? It almost looks like a parrot. He is really going to town on those fruit tree fruits. All right. Not yet. Make an extra one. Wow! They really wanted that fruit. I'll just bring it with me for a while. Okay? 
Can't do anything with that bird. Ah, do this. There we go, that seems to have made him a bit happier. Oh, you found Chico. Look at them. They're so happy. Now you won't be so grumpy all the time, Feathers. Oh, please, sir. I don't want you to touch that. That lever opens the attic window. Just let me make sure it is locked. It's a big glass container with water. There is a tap on the side. Oopsie. Oh. I've got to tell you. Please don't use the water dispenser right now. Oh, please, sir. Don't touch that. He saw me do that. So let's, uh, let's monkey with the bell. There you go. Talk to the coffee lady. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? Just out walking, thank you. Hold on. That guy should be coming out soon. There he is. Go back in. There we go. Let's look at the statue. Small clay sta statue. It has some sort of blue gem placed over the face of the statue. There is a protective case surrounding it. There is no way I can move the cover around the statue by hand. It's way too heavy. Yeah, it has a little pulley system up here. Can't do anything here. Thing here is uh, neatly packed into paper of different sizes. Okay. Hammer and labels. Everything is so old timey, it's like I've been thrown back in time. Oh, you were inside my shop? I'm so sorry. I didn't see you go inside. Alright. See ya. Duh. Hopefully that stays open. Alright. Oh, there she is. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Samoa. Did you get a chance to look around the town? Yeah, sure. Everyone's friendly and curious. Did you recognize anything? Anything familiar? No, not really. Perhaps I'll take another stroll after this meeting. Right, let's go inside. All right, maybe... Okay, maybe I should prepare you a bit first a bit. What do you mean? Ever since Lash's father disappeared, the governor has approached me for marriage. Yeah, he's been making advances towards me. I keep saying no, but he won't leave me alone. Oh. Yeah, and he has a very hostile approach to any man that gets too close to me. Hmm, I see. He is harmless, really. 
but he is just a bit protective of me. Thanks for the heads up. Okay, let's do this. Enter. Oh, it's you two. You could have timed this a bit better, Samoa. But you told me to. I'm in the middle of something here, okay? The governor is a very busy man, Samoa. Of course, but you both specifically told me that I had to bring Thomas back here when he awoke. Thomas? Who is Thomas? I am Thomas. Oh, so it has a name after all. Samoa. Have you had time to digest my proposal yet? Oh, I'm sorry, Willie, but after the recent events... Governor! You should address him Governor! Oh, sorry. I mean Governor. After everything that has happened, I don't think that... Oh, come on now, Samoa. Why haven't you just accepted my marriage proposal? You know you won't survive the winter. This is like a soap opera. Your water is bad, and with your crops now all rotten, you don't understand how you can... I don't understand how you can refuse me. Think about young Lasha. She could barely manage an entire day as it is. Let me worry about my own daughter. And how... Oh, and how you know about the rotten crop. Oh, and how you know about the rotten crop already is really impressive. Are you perhaps spying on me? Don't be silly, woman. I am only concerned for you, that's all. If you are that concerned, why don't you help me with my crops and water problem? You know I can't play favorites around here. But if we were married... I'm sorry, sir. Perhaps we should keep the focus on the matter at hand. Oh, yes. I guess we should. So, who are you, Thomas? Where are you from? I don't remember. You don't remember? What do you mean? I guess whoever hit me on the head did a good job on my memory. Hmm. Before we continue, perhaps we should let Samoa carry on with her day. What? Ah, yes, of course. Thank you, Samoa. Just so you know, my proposal is still open to you. I'm sure it is. Thomas, could you possibly help me with one other thing? Sure. Could you please drop by the store on your way home? I have ordered some groceries I need to be brought back. Uh, <laughs> so I could stay at your house for now? Of course you can. You are welcome to call my house your home for as long as you want. Until we sort out your memory, I mean. Thank you. So, will you bring back the groceries? Sure. Thank you. Here, you can take my notebook. Ah, crud. Okay. Well, I think what she said is that uh, the... Um, the store owner keeps a tab on her notebook, basically. Well, see you back uh, home then, Thomas. Yeah, we got our notebook in inventory. Thomas, approach, please. So, how do we make sense out of you? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Maybe I just need some rest and my memory will come back? No, I'll just do that. Well, I will tell you what I mean by that. First, you were found unconscious in the dirt. Nobody seems to know who you are. Even you don't seem to know who you are. You were found dressed in odd and nobly ugly clothes. And not, and not least, you carry some very strange gadgets that we've never seen before. One could even say ungodly gadgets. Maybe I just need some rest and my memory will come back. We both know that is a lie. And a pretty poor one, in fact. What I instead would like to know... Why are you staying with Lady Samoa? What do you mean? They found me and took care... And they took care of me until now. I don't like it. 
As a matter of fact, I don't allow it. What the governor means is that... That they have been having problems with the water and... And their crops. Oh yes, and their crops. So perhaps you living there will put extra strain on their resources. You see, Thomas Winter is coming. That's right, just like in... Uh, um, <laughs> what's that show? Game of Thrones, Winter is coming. In their current state, there is no way they can stay in that house during those cold months. My proposal to Lady Samoa is a proposal born out of my responsibility for the citizens of this town. Besides, I don't find it appropriate for a strange man to live with a woman who is about to be married. Ah, uh, let's see. I thought a proposal for marriage sh should originate from love. What is wrong with their water and crops? How will her marrying you help them during the winter? I heard you have my clothes and other belongings. Let me see. Let's try, let's try this one. I thought a proposal for marriage should originate from love. How romantic. Nonsense. That's it, huh? What is wrong with their water and crops? What do you mean? Why would I know? How will her marrying you help them during the winter? I own the greatest state outside town where Lady Samoa and Lasha would fit in perfectly. You make them sound like furniture. Fine furniture, mind you. I heard you have my clothes and other belongings. I do. And I'll give them to you if you leave them, leave town here and now. Sir? Yes, Bertley? Maybe we can offer the man some other incentives to leave. Well, what do you have in mind? Maybe we could give him some of that gold we found the other day. Not all of it, I mean, but let's say six pieces? I think that really would make him think about it. All right, then. I'll also hand over six pieces of gold if you leave this place now. Hmm. Six pieces of gold. I guess I could sell that for a couple hundred credits. Okay, okay so this is one of the endings here. We'll just go ahead and do it. Oh? Well, that's good. Come with me then. We'll get your stuff here. I know you are out of here. There. Now as I promised. Here's your stuff back. And the gold. I hope you understand that you are no longer welcome inside the city. Yeah, I kind of got that. Good. Have a good life, Thomas. Oh, I can't put on my... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe if I do this. Nope. Oh, okay. Shuttle. Okay, get back to the service table. Okay, let's go. Probably border that door up. All right, now we could have the shuttle come down. Shuttle! Yes, Captain. Could you come down and get me now? Oh, you again. 
so soon. I'm tired here and just come down and get me, okay? Okay, on my way. Okay, bribe to leave, and there's four endings. Okay, I thought there was three. Okay. Six pieces of gold. Okay. After you have found the first fuel cell and stored it in your special vault, okay. Welcome back, Captain. Thank you. Did everything go okay? I mean, it seemed to have taken a bit more time than expected. Yeah, I know. I got stranded down there for a while. Okay. And that's it of that one. Let me see here. Oh, he's coming closer. Okay. All right. Let's go back. Okay. So now we're going to refuse. I think I will reach out a helping hand to Mrs. Samoa. It's Miss Samoa, not Mrs. Just get out of here. I guess things just got a bit more complicated. I think I'll use this notebook to keep track of my problems. Okay, let's see what the notebook reads. My problem is find the missing Dromian rod. Get my equipment back from the governor. Yep. All right. Simple enough. Okay. I think we could just go back. That's it. Let's go inside. Oh, I didn't get the groceries. Duh. I didn't get the groceries. Jeez. All right. All right, still open. All right. I was supposed to get something for Mrs. Samoa. Oh, yes, of course. We got it all prepared here under the desk. Hey, okay, there's the groceries. All right. Got something. I don't think that matters, but all right. Let's hand off the groceries. All right.
prepare your groceries. Thank you. Wondering if you would like to help me fix the house. I'll probably take the rest of the day, though. Sure. Oh, that's wonderful. Me and Lhasa really appreciate it. Oh, poor... Go ahead. Good work, everyone. Time to come inside. Dinner is ready. Oh, at last. I'm starving. Come sit down and join us, Thomas. Now, let's say grace. Grace. Bless this food and the people who prepared it. We are very pleased to welcome Thomas to our meal today and hope he will get this, his memory back soon. And let's all offer thanks for the bounty we've received. Day will come. There. Let's eat. Nom 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 nom. Did Frank at the store mention our debt to him? No. If we could only grow our own food, we wouldn't have to be so dependent on Frank's blessed heart. Uh, let's see, is it hard to for a crop to grow in these parts? Not in general, but our plot has given up for some reason. Have you had problems a long time? No, this is the first season. It used to be a great plot to grow food. And it seems to be just us. What do you grow? We grow mainly earth apples and root berries. It might not be a dinner for kings and queens, but it will do. it will do for us. What do you think is wrong with your crops? You noticed some strange flavor in the food, and then both Lhasa and I felt ill with a fever. I don't really know what is wrong. I'm no farmer myself, so it would be a weak guess at best. If I had Sister Patty down for a look, she knows these kind of things. They say that she was spawned from an earth apple seed blessed by the Almighty herself. So, pretty comfortable round crops then. Oh yes, dear Thomas. She did what she could and consecrated the earth. Okay. This was delicious. You sure know how to cook. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. What's up with that governor? He's an evil old dog. Lhasa, he is not. Willie is, however, uh, stubborn and misguided. Yes, mother, like an evil old dog. Lhasa. He seems to be infatuated with you. Yes, he is possessed by the illusion that I need help to get by. His views on women are old-fashioned and quite tiresome, actually. How did he become governor? Simply put, he was born to it. He is the son of the former governor. And with the church supporting his position, it was always written in the stars. You don't seem to like him very much, Lhasa. As far as I'm concerned, I'm still married to my husband. And no man, no matter how rich or powerful, can change that. He is mean and grumpy. So where is Lasha's father, if you don't mind me asking? Oh... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, it's all right. I guess I was just thinking about something else. His name was Tamian. Lasha was only a baby when he went missing. What happened? Well, Tamian was the kind of man that questioned everything. He was never afraid to raise his voice for honesty and truth against injustice or greed. He always said the question is the answer. It saddens me so to say it, but I believe he finally asked one question too much. I do believe the Almighty finally had enough of him and his question. Oh. Soon after Lasha was born, he got obsessed with the night. But as you know, the night is sacred time. Forbidden time. He, But he just said that truth never damages a cause that is just. 
and that no child should have to live in ignorance. He would spend most, most of his time over at the library with his research. A while after he went missing, I went through his diary to find some clue of what might have happened. It suggested that he had been outside during the dark hours. I loved him more than life itself, but his unbound and always thirsty spirit was not meant for this land. I'm sorry, Samoa. Do you think I could see... Uh, okay, sure. Do you think I see your husband's diary? I'm sorry. I won't let anyone see those unholy writings. I've locked them away for safekeeping. It's just that it's way too dangerous, and I wouldn't want to upset the Almighty again. Thank you so much for the food. You really earned your food today after all that work you did. Well, I think I will start cleaning things up now. And Lasha, time for bed. Okay. I'll just finish up here, and me and Lasha will go to bed. There's lots of work for us tomorrow. Okay, I guess that's it. I guess I'll just go to bed too. I mean, nothing else to do. Hold on. So there's nothing there. Yeah. Bed, window. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Captain Sue fell asleep, very tired from all the manual labor during the day. Day two. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning. So how do you feel today? Remember anything yet? No, nothing at all. That's too bad. I feel sorry for you. I didn't want to wake you up before, but we usually go up and have breakfast just after sunrise. But I'm reheating some porridge for you right now. Maybe I'll just get another clock for you to have upstairs that can wake you up. Thank you. Have a seat and I'll get you some breakfast. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thomas? Yes. Could you do me another favor? Could you go to the store again and get me the groceries I've ordered? Sure. Thank you. Sigh. Maybe the governor is right, you know. Maybe I cannot manage this without marrying him. I can't understand why we have all these problems at once. I mean, not only is our water supply undrinkable, our crops grow very slowly as well. Uh, you don't want to marry the governor? Well, not really. I've just never fancied him that much. I also find him quite mean, actually. Maybe I can help somehow? I don't know how, though. I have to solve these problems quite soon. Otherwise, we won't be able to stock enough food and water for the winter. Guess I have to give up this life soon. I have to think about Lassie, you know? Anyway, it's not your problem to fix, but if you have some idea how to help, I'm willing to listen. I'll have to come back to you on that. Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Okay. Talk to her again. Please, Thomas. Need to clean up here now. Okay, sorry. I can take a hint. And just Mr. Mr. Talkative. Alright. I wonder how long I should stay on this planet. Maybe I should just agree to, to the governor's terms and get my stuff back. But on the other hand, this family could really use my help. Perhaps I could bring a sample of the soil back to my service table and analyze it. I guess I'll have to update my list of problems. Well, that's a good idea. Sorry, plot. Hey, come back here. All right, plot, let's look at it first. I'm no expert in agriculture, but to me, the soil looks fine. 
in stark moist and of normal consistency. It even smells like plant soil should. I'll just take a small sample. All right. Enter the city. I want to check out that library. Let's check out the library, and then we'll analyze the soil sample. So here's the... This is the library right here. And, let's see. Librarian is here. Good day, sir. How may I help you today? Uh, I guess I would like to read something. You're free to browse our shelves. If you are looking for something specific, just ask me and I'll see if I can help you. And then, of course, we also have our archive. Tell me more about your archive. Of course. We mostly store old books there and other items that we want to take extra care of. Then we also have the personnel personal area where we let people store their own special items. You can buy a space for only nine... 990 money, and you will get a box where you can put whatever you want. Then you want to get your items back again, you just come here and give me your archive ticket. Okay, I think that's it, right? Of course. Da -da. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yep, same thing. All right, see you later. And there's a key here. I think that is the key to this building. Small sign above it reads, Main building key, don't touch. Yoink. Alright. Over here. So this is the archive she was talking about. So these are the This is the little cubby holes that she was, the stores that she was talking about. Papers, sheets of papers hanging from a wire. I think the purpose of this is for the ink to dry. Shelves, archive boxes and archive books on archive shelves. As expected of an archive room. Unsorted books. A book called Humans and Warriors. I think I'll put the old one back in the pile first. Foes and Friends. Okay. Yeah, so you can just swap out books. You don't really do anything with them yet. Okay. So, all right. Okay, where else? Oh, yeah, we wanted to set, do the uh, sample the oil and sample the soil. Oh, is that you, Lasha? Oh, hi, Stiff. I didn't expect you to be up here. I needed to be alone. 
everything okay? Yes, just fine, thank you. Are you crying? No. Oh, maybe. What are you doing up here? Nothing really, just thinking. Has something happened? Yes. Or no, I don't know. Did you see something strange up here? What? Sniff. No. Why'd you ask? Just checking. Come on now, Lhasa. Tell me what is wrong. Oh, alright. It's Willie, the governor. I really don't like him. He treats Mother so badly. Yes, I've noticed that. I heard him and Mother discuss a date to come visit his estate. I know what that means, and I hate it. I understand. We will figure something out. I'm working on it. I'm glad we found you, Thomas. So am I, Lhasa. Why are you up here, by the way? Just checking around my surroundings to see if I recognize anything. And do you? For a moment, I thought I recognized this tree, but no. Just another tree, I guess. So nothing, then. Not a thing. So, you really should keep looking around for something familiar. Yeah, good idea. I'll stay here for a while longer before I head home. Okay, see you back home, then. All right. So I think we switch this over to Analyzer. There's the soil sample. Done. Pollutions detected. What the? This is a type 2 pesticide substance. No wonder the soil is as dead as dust. There is no way this is a natural phenomenon. Someone did a really good job here sterilizing the soil. The good news is that I think I know how to clean up this pollution. I'll just write down the steps in the notebook I got earlier. I hope I could get a hold of the necessary ingredients on this planet. Okay. Let's see. Ah, ammonia, vinegar, a small amount of gold. Okay. I'm going to skip that for now. I go pick up the groceries. to the storekeeper. What?
All right, we'll go through this. Do you have some vinegar? Sure, they're 25 money. I don't have that much. Sorry, but I cannot sell you that for less. No, of course, I understand. Is there any way to earn some money around here? Hmm. Guess I could pay you a fair price for a number of items I need. I got nothing. I don't even own the clothes I'm wearing. That is okay. There are things you can harvest around town. Oh, okay. Well, I've been waiting to get a chance to pick some sky lips to give to Ingrid. If you give me a bunch, let's say eight, I can pay you 20 money. Hmm. And I could also use about four tree fruits if I am to bake that pie. I can pay you 20 for that and got it. Anything else? Well, I'm always looking for fresh meat. If you manage to shoot or catch some wildlife, I could probably buy that from you as well. Good to know. Okay. Uh-oh. You heard that? I think it's about to rain. That's what I thought. Okay. I got the groceries, right? Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh. All right. There are your groceries. Thank you. I was wondering if you would like to help me repair the well. Sure. Probably take the rest of the day. Yeah, sure. Okay. We really appreciate it. And I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Alright, good work everyone. Time to come inside. Dinner is ready. Oh, at last. I'm starving. Come sit down and join us. Now, let's say grace. Bless this food and the people who prepared it. Please. Okay, let's eat. How was your second day? Very good, thank you. Still no memory of who you are? No, afraid not. Well, well, it will come back to you. Must have faith in the Almighty and her plan. You're here. Thank you so much for the food. All right, let's go to bed. See if she put that clock up there. Uh, yes, there it is right there. All right. So morning peace. Eight hours. So that must be midnight, right? There we go. Come on, wake up in the middle of the night.
Yes. Captain soon fell asleep, very tired from all the manual labor during the day. Guess I managed to set the tyrant to wake me up in the middle of the night. All right. Let's go sneak around. See why the night is so forbidden. There's a locker there. Doesn't open. I think it's locked. Yeah, that's why they call the locker. Painting. Brian of a tree. Small metal plaque at the bottom of the frame reads, Mimer's Tree. Okay. Eh? What is this? Why are they glowing like that? Let's take the key first. Oh, let's see. Shelf. Books and a green bottle. Nothing different for my wall decorations. I really don't think I should wake her up now. <laughs> All right, that's it. We got the key. Good thing they're sound sleepers. All right. Which key is library key? Yes, that unlocked it. All right. That's a gopher trap. That's a diary. We'll take both. All right. All right. Now let's uh, ch -ch -ch. let's read the diary. Notes by Tammy and P. I have lately found it necessary to take precautions. Strange and unexplained events have started to occur at night. If something were to happen to me, I want to preserve my research for my daughter. I've kept my biggest findings out of this book for my family's safety. Digging around the origin of Tam is not a thing to take lightly. Questions concerning the idols. Where do the idols come from? Who is the creator of idols? The idol of Tam. White crystal, outer shell, white crystal stone. All right, discovery one. The key of light will open the door to secrets as the power of two comes together. See, two, two of these statues, see? And we have a library archive ticket. Discovery two, the power of one is enough to give sight to a blind man. The light reveals itself in darkness. If you want to keep a secret, you must also hide it from yourself. Okay. Good to know. To the door. Do some sneaking. Some sneaking around. Because I think we found one of those statues in the storekeeper's thingamabobber. What is that? See, there's a glow there. That statue in the window is glowing. And the two birds are sleeping. All right, so we gotta use this wheel. Oh, and then I think we have to, yes, now, we, we did that bell, see that bell's hanging, so that's good. So I think, we can't go down that ladder. 
So yeah, we have to go. I can't. Come on, help me to climb down the ladder. Good thing we reset that bell. It won't open. Guess it's locked. Really? Hold on. Uh. Oh, there's an add a catch. Okay. Good. Attached to the ground floor. Okay. Okay. We'll attach the hook. Yeah, we have to go that way anyway. There. It's unlocked now. Can't go back up that way. Jeez. All right. Okay, we got it. I wonder if we should try and set it set it back. See if we can set it back. Nope, can't set it back. There we go. No one will know the wiser. Okay. All right. Let's see. Can't do anything at the library because we need to give the librarian the uh, the archive ticket. So we'll just hold on to that statue. We'll go back to bed. the house area well, I guess I could go through here and go to sleep Oh, I didn't reset the alarm. Good morning. Did you manage to set your alarm yesterday? I forgot to set it. it happened to all of us. Uh, have a seat and I'll get you some breakfast. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, a book from the library. Sure. No problem.
Good day. How may I help you get a book for Samoa? Go. Seems to be a collection of poems. Out of the night that covers me black as the pit from pole to pole, I think. Whatever gods may be, the unquenchable for my unquenchable soul. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, we got an archive ticket. Let's see here. Yes, here it is. According to my record here, this is an unusually large archive. Should I set it up in the research room for you? I guess I would be okay. Okay, then. I'm a bit too busy right now, but come back a little bit later and it will all be set up for you. Okay? I could just uh, go out, go back in. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Your items are now ready. Yay! All right. Search poster. That's odd. There's another in here. You know, I think I have to come back at night as well. I need to try this. Yeah. I have to come back at night. Let's see what the uh, there's a diary. Okay. The light reveals itself in darkness, and yeah, it has to be at night time. See that? Okay. Okay. Have to come back at night. your book. Thank you. I was if you would like to help us with some chores around the house. Probably take the rest of the day. Sure. Okay, I'll be back, everyone. Mic off.
Mic on. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's go. Let's. I I think everything's closed up anyway, so I can't really do much. I was gonna go back and try and get the ingredients for that, but we could do that later. Yes. Uh, no. Oh, God! If I forget to set the alarm clock, oh my goodness. Okay. go yes Okay, let's go into the archive. All right, let's use our statue. Here, look how it's glowing now. There. Wow. The light of the statue just revealed a lot of text on the board. Okay, let's look at the text. What is the purpose with the night? Why are we sleeping? Reminder to keep waking up during the night. Remove statue from my room. Touch some water with my bare skin. Why is that? Best way, have bowl of water next to bed. Set modified alarm halfway to morning. That's what we did. Alright, text. How come I cannot wake people up? Are the statues connected to this? And look, he circled the shed outside. Of interest? Is this the gate to the next level? Needs testing. Must find a better place to hide the secret hidden compartment behind the card index counter and here will do for now priority protect Samoa and Lasha town must be kept ignorant about me having a second idol ah statues are the key to the truth we we connected to statues how all right so this guy really had some secrets I wonder why he felt he had to take such precautions to hide his thoughts like this. There we go, secret compartment. Now that's revealed. Hmm, there's some sort of wooden grid behind the counter. This must be what the research mentioned. It opened. There's something inside. Well, take it. Another statue. You really took s serious precautions about keeping the statue a secret. Now I have two of them. See, now it's saved. Okay. Let's go to that shed. Shed. Okay. Let's see. It's interesting, nothing to click on um, except the exit. But I had to look this up. I couldn't figure it out. You had to take this statue, put it with that statue. Like the. There you go. Boom. Ah, something's happening.
button. Of course, in role-playing games, when you see a button, you gotta push it. Oh, what is this place? What's well, the subterranean base? What's going on here? This is getting stranger every step I take. These are very well done humanoid mannequin parts by the looks of it. Schematics. I guess it's some kind of industrial design station. There are several paper schematics here as well. Hmm, they seem to be categorized after location. Odd. Most of these relate to building construction. Controls. Oh, this is cool. Okay, we gotta do elephant. <laughs> All right. I think we could take the key. Ooh, climate control. Hold on. I guess that's not that's not important. We can't adjust the climate control? Darn. Aw. Okay. I think we gotta put the key in here. Zim Zalabim. What is this? Oh my god. This is so Hey you! Who are you? Oh, uh, hi there! <laughs> oh no, it's you! Well, last time I checked at least. How did you get in? Through a crack in the time-space continuum. How so? I think I am the one that should be asking the questions. The game is up, I know everything. Uh... Let me see. Let's see here. Let's try that one. What? Really? Yeah, a fairy riding a fat gorilla helped me with the physics of it all. <laughs> hmm, I guess that must be sarcasm. You humans never say what you really mean. Sigh. This is not what it looks like. You don't say. Up until a few minutes ago, I thought this was a pre-space civilization. And you, as one of its inhabitants, working peacefully as the governor's right-hand man. It is. I mean, part of it is, kind of. It is complicated. Is it? Yeah, let's, let's ask him that question. Yes, that was me. But I had to. I couldn't just let you roam free and ruin everything. Well, here I am, roam me free. Yes, you are. I am going to need all my stuff back. Of course, sir. I'll get them right away. Hold on a minute. I have more questions for you first. Do you know I am Space Fleet? You are not from around here, are you? What is all this equipment for? Let's do this one. No, I am not. 
Lemia Stock here, born and raised in the suburbs of Booth. What is your real name? My name is Bertie Berthwell. Bertie Berthwell. Do you... Uh, okay, let's do, throw out the space fleet thing. Yes, I do. I picked your ship up on the short-range scanners as soon as you came into orbit. Your registration tag was issued by space fleet. How did you know where I would land? I, I had just located the crash satellite when I detected your ship in orbit. I figured that you were here to sort that out. So why did you interfere with my salvage operation? Actually, I needed that Dromian rod for my uh, studies. What is all this equipment for? Ah, yes, the equipment. Uh, I am researching the... Sigh. What the hell, I might as well spill it all. I'm a freelance scientist. My field of research is artificial anthropology, and that is, is the scientific study of artificial intelligence together with social behavior within societies in the past and present. This is the control center of my research project. What kind of AI are you researching? Okay. I'm trying to find out that the minimal stimuli needed for the AI to develop and thrive in a simulated humanoid environment. The research will enable me to predict humanoid behavior patterns in social groups. And are the inhabitants aware of your experiment? Of course they are not aware. That would render the entire experiment useless. What part of all this is AI controlled? Well, all of it. The animals, the people? What are you talking about? How is AI able to control the people? I am not sure you fully understand, sir. What do I not understand? That you that you are crazy? The inhabitants of Fenton Perth are dot 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 machines. Dot dot dot. What? All of them? Of course. Even Samoa and Lasha? Yes, I thought you understood that. Why would I understand that? I don't know, but I guess I thought you would notice their strange re recharge behavior, amongst other things. What are you talking about? As they are put to sleep, they are recharged. What do you mean, put to sleep? It is the reason for the Idol of Tam. It is an electromagnetic transponder and charge unit. Giving them a religion was an obvious way to control their behavior. I don't believe this. Isn't this against the constitutional law of AI life forms? That artificially intelligent beings have the right to be aware of their state and origin? I am extremely close to a breakthrough here. You know I cannot allow this to continue, right? How long have you planned for this experiment to run? There is no planned end date. In the beginning, it never went past day 15 before it crashed. But now they are close to their third year. And there are no signs of regression at all. I let you keep this pet project of yours. Will you keep this current simulation alive? Yes, of course. The longer it runs, the more data I get to study. Turning the current simulation off now will damage the algorithms beyond repair. Well, then you can't continue with these dubious activities at least. Go and get my stuff now. Yes, sir. Uh, will my simulation still be running when I come back? That will become clear to you as you return. Okay, then I'll go then and get your stuff. Please do. Here. You'll need this. It's an elevator tag so you can take the elevator back up again. And please let me keep my experiment running, Captain. Just go and get my stuff now. I'll come up when I'm done down here. Sigh. Yes, sir. This feels like a bad dream. They are all machines. But with hopes and dreams. Or at least what they think are their hope and dreams. I really should shut this experiment down. 
This is not real. I guess you could argue that this is as real to them as it is to me. I find it hard to know what is the right thing to do here. Warning! When performing a hard shutdown of the droid network, you run a great risk of damaging the hardware beyond repair. Yeah. Uh oh. Wow. Oh, don't worry. We'll, we're going to do all endings, right? So. Oh, well, that's it, I think. That was easy. I hope I made the right decision here. Let's see what happens. Key card. Here you are. This is everything we found on you, including the Dromium Rob I borrowed. Thank you. Now let me out of here so I can call my shuttle down. Yeah, sure. I have to lock the gates behind you when you leave. No problem. Well, that's it, I get. Oh, I had the elephants going. I got my stuff back. Let's see if my bracelet still works. Shuttle. Hello? Could you come down and get me now? Who is this? What do you mean, who is this? It is me, your captain. Dot, dot. dot. Thomas, Thomas Wellmu. Oh, Thomas, sorry, embarrassing, but I have forgotten all about you. I am tired. Just come down and get me, okay? On my way. Should I land at your current position? No, just land in the same place that you dropped me off. I'll head over there right away. Affirmative. Okay. After spending some time packing the service table, they were ready to leave. And here's the ending. Everything's dead and gone. It's all empty. Oh, that's so sad. Even though they're just robots, still sad. They were artificial life. Shut down. Oh. Got the dromium rod. Oh, we got the gold nuggets as well. So that's all I got was Dromium? I... Hold on, hold on. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. No, we... Uh... Oh, that was, those are nukes. That's a dromium rod. We could uh, just deconstruct that to dromium. But, wow. Okay, we did not get the gold or nothing. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and load. Okay, so we are not going to shut that off. We'll just leave it as it is.
There they are. They're all alive. Oops. Have you packed the books from upstairs, Lasha? Yes, they are in the blue box next to you. This is not the end of the world, you know. I know, Mom. We will get a much bigger house now. Die. I know. And my wife is going, Are you serious? Yes, because this is just as good acting as she watches her novellas. She watches her novellas going, See, Te amo. No importa. Oh, now my wife is quiet. Quiet. Okay. <laughs> She did not find that funny at all. Okay. Let's continue. I know. You don't have to worry about me. <laughs> Willie isn't that big on books, so I thought we should bring some of ours. I am sorry it had to come to this, Lasha. Stop. Yeah, me too. Oh, the drama. Keep on living. And all we got is a drum and rod. You know what? I think the good ending is where we get all the stuff anyway, so let's do it. Yes. All right. Oops. Wrong thing. Load. All right. Okay, I think we have to go back. There we go. Got the soil results. Lots. Yes. All right. Oh, she's there. Was she there last time? Yes, I don't have any chores right now, so... No problem, girl. See you back home. Huh, that's interesting. Book. No book. Groceries are... That's interesting. Okay. With gardens. Okay, I did that. There we go. Ammonia, vinegar, a small amount of gold. Okay. And I think I say this before he told us what... Uh, They don't have the gopher trap. That's all right. But we remember from our last load, we need these flowers. We need like eight of them. And... Was that was there fruit on that other tree where she was sitting at? Probably. Oh wow. Well.
Ah, uh, I knew it. There's more. Darn, there's more over by the other tree. Yep. I guess that's it. Jeez, all right. Oh, I need some more sc more of those flowers. Bonnie, I got twenty.
Oh. Alright, let's find the flowers and the gopher. Oh, and the meat. There we go, there's the eight. the ammonia first. Okay. So now I need some, uh, Oh, there's more over here. Ah, there we go. Once you pick all those flowers, you see this special flower right here. There you go. Gold pearl. There's that little gold right there. All right. Then we'll, now we'll talk to her. We'll skip that. Alright, let's wake up in the night, grab that gopher trap. And he's noisy. Let's just grab the gopher trap. All right, and we'll go back up the stairs. No. Let's try and set the alarm clock again. There we go.
Okay. Okay, let's forget the book. Let's forget the book. Oh wait, wait, no, we need we need to go to the store. Alright. No, we need to get the gopher. What the heck am I thinking? We need to get the gopher. Alright, let's go to the library. Get her book. Let me see. Oh yeah, the book of poems. Okay. All righty. Let's go get that gopher. There it is. Oh, was that him there? There he is. Okay, so he runs back and forth between the two holes. There we go. I think there's another one over here.
Oh. Oh, there it is right there. There we go. So you need at least two. Okay, we'll sell these to the shop owner. Guess I can chop it up and sell it as grounded meat. Ew. I can pay you 10 money for it. Deal. Alright. I think he'll buy one more. Deal. Alright. Now we need vinegar, right? Because we have... Oh, yeah. This is ammonia, but we don't have vinegar. you go all right do I have any money left over no just enough okay all right All right, let's go in the house. Let's do our little science experiment. Okay. Ammonia. Okay, this should revitalize the soil and water as soon as it is applied. Alright, so did he take it? Yes, let's do it. Good thing it's raining. There. I 
should be enough. I guess I should go and tell Samoa. Levi solved your problems. Found a way to purify your soil. You have? Yes, I hope so anyway. We have to let the purification work overnight though. But how did you do it? I recognize the symptoms from the soil in my village. You should be able to grow your crops without any problem at all. This is true, I am forever grateful to you. It is I who am grateful f to you and Lhasa for taking care of me. I think our chances are good for this to work. I hope you are right, Thomas. The rest of that day, Wilm will help Samoa with all the choice around the house. As always, there was a lot to do. When they were done, it was already late in the evening. They decided to meet up early in the morning to see if the purification had worked. Alrighty. Healthy garden soil. Well, where are they? That's weird. I don't remember this. Unless I did something wrong. Thomas! Oh, I really think it worked. You have to come outside to see this. Look at this! They are beautiful. I really think we can manage this. Oh, I'm so thankful, Thomas. I almost feel dizzy. Don't worry. I'm just so happy. Uh-oh. Good morning, everyone. And good morning, Samoa. Governor. How are things in the lower classes coming along? Well, I'm glad to inform you that members of the lower classes have solved the immediate food problem. What? I mean, really? How did you do that? Well, it wasn't me. It is all thanks to Thomas. He found a way to clean our soil. Did he now? Yes, he did. Well, that doesn't really matter anymore. What do you mean? I'm sorry, Samoa, but you have forced me into a position I don't very much like. Here, this is for you. What is this? That there is an eviction notice. Eviction notice? What are you doing? I am doing what is best for you and young Lhasa. Why are you doing this? It's out of my control now. This is your very last chance, Samoa. I won't ask you again. Marry me and I will take care of everything. I... I don't. Well, if you have something to say to me, you know where to find me. Good day. I don't understand this. Why am I getting evicted exactly? Can you take a look at this document, Thomas? Does it make sense to you? And there's all this stuff. Hmm. This seems a bit complicated. I'm not sure I understand this either. 
But what should I do then? I don't think I can afford to refuse him any longer. I could try to investigate a bit and see if there is something fishy about this. I guess you could. You could always take that document to the judge and ask him about it. His office is in the same building as the governor's office. But if you don't find anything by tonight, I think I am forced to accept his proposal. Come on, Lhasa. Let's go inside and talk a bit. Ugh. All right, better talk to the governor or the uh, judge. All right, Justice House. Excuse me. Yes? I have this document I would like you to take a look at. What? Oh, okay then. Give it here. Hmm, let's see. This is an eviction notice addressed to Samoa P. Yes, I know. But how is that possible? What do you mean, young man? It says she must be out by tomorrow. Let's see here. Yes, this is a bit strange. It shouldn't be possible to force an eviction this fast. There should be at least two weeks between a person getting served with the notice and the actual eviction. On the other hand, the, the eviction notice is clearly in order. I think this is wrong. Now listen to me. I am in no mood to sit here and explain ancient justice philosophy right now. If you are that interested in property and ownership law, I sincerely recommend you take that up with one of our occupational assignment elders. Is there anything I could do to help her? I guess you can appeal this and force an explanation of the short time span, but you have to dot dot dot. You have to dot 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 dot. Where is it? Now where is that apple? Okay. Judge is distracted. Yes. Appeal? Did you take my apple? No. Well give it back then. I said no, I didn't take your apple. Oh. Where is it then? Okay, he needs an apple. Good thing there's a fruits, fruit vendor. Sigh. Because I'd start looking for an apple. I don't think the judge will help me if he doesn't get one. Alright. Good thing there's a fruit vendor outside. Maybe he'll be sympathetic. Fruit salesman right there. Need an apple. Hi. Hello there, sir. Interested in some fresh fruit? Yes, I would like an apple. That will be three money. I don't have any. Well, then I can't help you. Really need that apple. It's an emergency. I'll tell you what. My wife wanted me to get some flour on the way home. If you get a bag of flour, I'll give you that apple free of charge. Okay? I'm on it. Okay, what's that? Taylor, blacksmith. I thought there was a baker around here. Where's the baker? Baker, right there. Yes. Good thing there's a baker nearby. Hello. Uh, we just want some flour. Guess you have leftovers. Man, that music's loud. No bags. Come back with the bag, I'll give you some. Okay. Let me see. We have a tailor here. Maybe she can make me a bag. Hello. Hello, sir. Fancy some new clothes? We have everything you possibly want here. Shirts, jackets, pants, shoes. Tell me what you're looking after. I'm sure you'll have it. I'm looking for a small bag. Kind of bag. Just a small bag to keep some flour in. Flour bag? Hmm. I don't... I don't think I actually have one around here, but I can make one for you. Wait a minute. Darn it. I left my sewing needles back home. How can a tailor leave their sewing needles back home? Well, I guess I cannot help you then. What if I get you a needle? Oh, you have a needle on you. No, not right now. But you could get one? Maybe. Give me that needle, then I could help you. Okay. Well, there's a blacksmith. Maybe he can make it one. Hello. Hello there, young man. What can I do for you? Can you create a sewing needle? Sure. It's quite a fast job, I believe. Let me lower this. How about 10 money? I don't have any money. 
So how do you plan to pay for it? Isn't there something else you need? Hmm. There is one thing. I've been working very much lately, a bit too much according to my wife. If you help me find a nice gift for her, I could do the job for free. What's a nice gift? I forgot what the nice gift is. Flowers? Well, flower is a great gift, but that kind isn't so special. It's very common around here. If I am to give her a flower, it should be one more rare and beautiful. Oh, okay. Let's go. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go back to the house. There we go. There's a rare flower right there. We were going to eat that for the winter. Okay. Blacksmith. Oh, wow. This is perfect. It's a Laponichin Sky Rose, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so. Well, thank you so much. Those are a bit hard to come by nowadays. Here, I finished your needle. Hope everything serves you well. Thank you. And here's where the circle of life comes into play here. Needle. All right. I'll just say I don't have any money. I'll keep this. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Alright. Cloth bag. Or the baker. There's the apple. That looks like a good apple, too. Let's go back. Okay. All right, let's give him the apple. What? Oh, thank you. I was just looking for my apple. Well, you could have that one. How thoughtful of you, young sir. Could I help you with anything? In fact, you can. You mentioned something about an appeal before. I want to appeal this eviction notice. Well, I don't have any appeal forms here at the moment. The governor came by this morning and said he needed them all. That jerk. They were to be revalidated. He took them all? Yes, my entire stock, I'm afraid. Where did he take them? I'm not sure, but the last time we... Revalidated the forms. It was a job for the head librarian. You could always ask her. She knows more. Thank you. All right. Off to the librarian. All right. This way. Yep. Yeah. All right, there she is. Looking for appeal forms? Are they around here somewhere? Yes, I have them. Can I have one of them? I'm sorry, but you can't. They're in the process of being revalidated right now. I have to complete the work on them first before I can start handing them out to people. How long does that work take? Not that long for a single form, but at least the rest of the day for all of them. So maybe you could just finish one of them so I could have it? I guess I could, but I need to put all the books here 
and in that trolley back on the shelves first. If you want, you are free to help me with the books in the trolley. I can even promise you that if you put all of them back, I will fix one form for you when you are done. Uh... Okay. All right, so let's start working on the trolley. It's full of books. Need to get rid of these somehow if I'm to get that appeal form. Lord. Book. No. Book. Oh, pile of books. Titles start with letters ranging between H and P. All right. So we bring them there. I don't have time for this. Maybe I could get rid of the book some other way. Hey, he has an empty cart. Let's talk to that guy. Hello. Hi there. Could you help me with the thing? I'm a bit busy at the moment. I still have a lot of books to find and burn. If you head over to the desk over there, my colleague will certainly be able to help you. Are you actually burning books? Oh yes. Ever since the arrival of the new gods, all books contain references to night activities are banned. Why are those books banned? Well, certainly you must know this. The night is the time of the dark one. Oh, right. If you happen to see a book like that in here, please tell me so I can remove it, okay? Okay. Uh... Let's try that. I don't know what you think you saw, but I didn't find anything strange in that trolley. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go to the archive. Because we saw some books there, right? All right, let's go through here. Source of fortune. Stupidity of the president. Fruit in the mountain. Friend of my mind. Pig and mouse. Night of wind. There you go. Oh, there it is. Oh, I guess I have to go through this whole trolley again just to be safe. And there we go. Great job. Here, we have this appeal form now. Yay, we got the form. Go back to the judge.
All right, let's go talk to her. We still have the form, right? Yeah. Man, I wonder how how far away the sun blaster is. Uh oh. That's like that one ending. I think I found something. What do you mean? There is a way to appeal your eviction. You have to sign this paper and take it to the courthouse. Then we can have to argue that the time frame to the eviction is way too short. Here, take a look. Hmm, yes, this might just work. Let's go there right now. Just got this notice this morning so you can see there must be something wrong here. Yes, yes. I see that. Well, you two have to sit down and wait for a while. It might take some time to summon both the governor and the court representatives needed. Surprisingly soon thereafter. Wow, is this like a jury or something, or what? Okay. Order, order, please. wonder who that guy is. Settle down, people, please. Now, let's get these proceedings on the way. Excuse me. Why am I even here? I am the governor, for crying out loud. He is important, you know. Governor, you are here because Samoa P. of House Tuck has filed an appeal on the eviction notice you issued. An appeal? But how? Huh. Samoa's appeal claims the eviction holds no just reason and should therefore be invalidated. This is a joke. Is that what this is? You want to hear me laugh? Let's move on, shall we? Samoa P., do you find my declaration of your appeal correct? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Okay, then, please state your case. Uh, okay. I have a rental agreement with the city of Fenton, Perth, on my property where I live. Today, our governor came by my house and handed me an eviction notice. The notice didn't state any clear reason as to why I was being evicted. And the time frame of the eviction is also unrealistic. There was nothing unrealistic about it. You had several hours. Wait a minute. I thought all the appeal forms were sent for revalidation. Are these proceedings following regulations? I assure you that everything is in order. Now, Governor, how do you respond to Samoa's appeal? I don't. Eh. Well, all right then. After closely examining the eviction notice and listening to all parties, I find the eviction invalid. Oh my gods, this is ridiculous. If you have nothing else, Governor, I'll find these proceed. Wait. Listen to me. Order. Governor, please. This is so frustrating. Listen to me, Samoa. You will not survive the winter alone in that house. You and your daughter could have a good life with me. This is going nowhere. I am concluding these proceedings. Not so fast, Judgy. Excuse me, Judgy? I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. I have here in my hand the Holy Book, also known as the Book, Book of Truth and Wisdom. According to passes 444, Greg's poems, let's see, thou shall be meticulous with all that you, yada yada yada, never haste nor hurry. Yada yada, where is it? Ah, here it is. A woman shall not go alone after the age of adulthood. Hmm, let's see here. And not go without male companionship by her side for protection and guidance. There. I can protect me and my family just fine without any male guidance. Thank you very much. Governor, Craig's poems are really some really old passages. We don't really. That doesn't matter. I have invited Father Ted from Children of Craig's Church for this reason. The governor has a po valid point here. A woman like Samoa should not live alone with her daughter. Ah, 
Got you, Samoa. Got you good. Uh. <laughs> Is it okay if I take notes on how to woo a woman? <laughs> uh, shut up, you charlatan. Father Ted, is this really necessary? I'm afraid it is. If we don't follow the book of truth, what are we to follow? Hmm, all right then. As demanded by the church, the House of Justice finds Samoa P. civil status not to be compatible with our current living conditions. What? I can't believe this. I love you, Samoa. Shut up. Thomas? Yes? I have asked much of you these last days. And you have answered me without question every time. If I was already married, I wouldn't have to submit to this extortion. Therefore, I have one final request to make to you. Will you marry me? It would be an honor. What? You find that fraud suitable as a life partner? Over my dead body. Uh-oh. I challenge you to a duel. Oh, no, you don't. Not in my courtroom. Ha! <laughs> Guards, remove the governor from my court. After the governor was brought out, there was a short scene where Wilmu and Samora were married. Uh, he, after The way I play, he's practically a widower anyway. Afterwards, they walked together back to the house. Okay, let's see what happens when we say no. Oh, I understand. It was a bit too much to ask, I know. But I cannot marry him. Is there anyone here who wants to marry me? Oh my god. What are you doing? You can't do that. Oh, yes I can. So how about it? Anyone? Or Now this is ridiculous. No one should be forced into a marriage they don't want. What kind of behavior belongs in the dark ages? There you go. I hereby rule that this practice will be evaluated. In the, in the meantime, Miss Omo is free to live on her own. Over my dead body. Uh-oh. Challenge you to a duel to the judge? Oh, no, you don't. Not in my courtroom. Boom. Guess he found his apple. And I guess everything was the same after that. Governor's Karen Stormer Judge had a long conversation about her predicament. Wilmu stayed the whole time by Samoa's side, and true progress was made. Both the judge and the elders agree that times were changing. After Ruiz, Wilmu accompanies Samoa back to her house. Thank you so much for that, Thomas. Hey, no problem at all. People like that shouldn't be in government. No, definitely not. So, I guess we are married now. Yeah, about that. Oh, I know you just did that to help me. It's just, if you want, I mean really want, you are more than welcome to stay with me, us. I have to leave Samoa. Now you remember where I come from. And it's all very complicated. I wish I could tell you more, but a lot of people really depend on me. I have to go back to where I belong. I understand. I guess. This is goodbye, then. I guess so. Wait, Thomas. Stay right here for just one moment. I want you to have this, Thomas. It's a soul stone. I got it from my grandmother, and she got it from her grandmother. It's a symbol of friendship and affection. A reminder that we all belong together. I might not know where you came from or where you are going, but I do know that everyone, wherever they are, needs a family, by blood or otherwise. Thank you so much. Yeah, because I want that soul stone. I think that's a star fragment. I'm going to miss you. Thank you again for everything. Oh. Now, did I just kill her? 
Because if she might not be able to recharge, I guess I should try to get my stuff now. Okay. I guess we should just go to the governor's office. Excuse me, Thomas. Just need a quick word with you if that's alright. Sure. I have to apologize for the governor's behavior in the last few days. His actions were selfish and are not in any way endorsed by the People's Court of Fenton, Perth. I am also glad to inform that he is no longer the governor of this town and that we are working right now to find a suitable replacement. That is good news. Maybe you can help me get my things back then. Right. Well, I can't see any reason why you shouldn't get them. To be quite honest, I never approved of the decision to keep them from you in the first place. Just follow me and we will get that taken care of right now. Uh-huh, yeah, right. I'm curious, are you leaving Fenton, Perth? Yes, I am. I'm needed elsewhere right now, I see. Come over here and I'll open the safe for you. There. Looks like it's only your things in here. It's all yours to take. I'm late for a meeting with the elders next door. Take your time. I'll run ahead and meet you outside in a mo moment. All your stuff. Oh, really? A small piece of paper. Some sort of passcode. All right. Okay. Plea of Dromium, and how did the rod end up in the safe? Well, we'll take that and take the gold nuggets. Ah, uh, no Dromium. Alright. Can't look at that. Okay. Alright, that's it. So, you got your things. That's good. Really need to get going. Just... Lock, lock the office after us. Oh, well, that's it, I guess. I got my stuff back. Let's see if my bracelet still works. Hello, could you come down and get me now? Who is this? What do you mean? It's me, your captain. Thomas, Thomas Wellmoo. Oh, Thomas, sorry, embarrassing, but I had forgotten all about you. Yep, on my way. Yeah, land right here. <laughs> oh, head, okay. Sometime packing the service table, they're ready to leave. And that's all the endings. I should go back and see what happens if we refuse the marriage. Okay. Okay. Well, we got the gold, but no dromium. Okay, welcome back, Captain. Thank you. Did everything go okay? I mean, it seems to have taken a bit more time than expected. Yeah, I know. I got stranded down there for a while. Saving. Okay. And I think we'll end the video there. Thank you all for watching. In our next video, 
we will I think we'll go up to Nugget Node. Ah, uh, we got some time. He's pretty close to there. Uh, 43 days. So he, we got 43 days before he catches up to us. So... Uh, let me see. 178. We do got some stuff to sell. Like the metals. Six pieces of gold is only 36. Oh, that's per maybe. Oh yeah. Okay. Not not bad. Okay. Well, yeah. We'll do that. We'll we'll sell the six pieces of gold there. Because I wonder. I was watching another video. Um, I think it was uh, Disturbing Puppet, who did the good thing on Zurum. He was at a trade and pay, and he couldn't sell the gold. Trade information. Sell. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So, yeah, I think we'll go to this trade and pay. How long is 13 days? Not bad. And then we're going to start going forward after that. We're going to go forward here. So we'll stay a, stay ahead of uh, whatchamacallit of the Sun Blaster. And then I do want to go here too. Because you're once you hit lime and pi, I think you're pretty much tied into these two plan planets, in my opinion. Um, so I think after here, go here. Unless we want to stop at that trade and pay first. But we'll definitely stop. I think we'll stop at this trade and pay next. But anyway, I'm blabbering on. So, all right. So if you happen to like the video... Feel free to hit that like, su subscribe, bell notification. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, um, doesn't tell you how long to repair the ship, does it? That's an interesting thing. Trade and pay. Trade information. No, it doesn't. But when we go there, we'll see how long, how many days it takes to repair our ship or how much it costs. Okay, we'll do that next video. So, all right, thank you all for watching. And again, if you happen to like that video, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, bell notification. Um, if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. And, you know, hope you like this video series. Leave a, a, a comment down below if you like it or not. I, I think it's a very interesting series. It has good storylines on these planets. Each little of these planets have their own little storylines. Um, and it was only made by two developers that made it, which, and and I believe in um, it took them. I read in in the Steam forums that it took them like six years to develop this game, and 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 I think they did a good job. So um, all right. So if you happen to like this game, you know, go buy it. You can buy it on Steam or on the uh, Epic. Uh, what's it called? The uh, Epic Game Launcher. And. Um, I think it's only twenty dollars on uh, the Epic Game Launcher or at Steam, so I, I recommend it. I like it. So thank you all for watching, and have a good night.